Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today in a bit of sad but true model building news, I have an RTLW model here in front of us that I completely forgot I owned. That's pretty sad. This is the Fire Lord something or other. Fire Drake Lord, I believe it was called. Anyway, it's it's an LRX arc, but you didn't hear that from me. So, what do we have here? Well, we have a really cool base that is going to have this big burly demon sitting on top of and then we're going to have our fire lord who comes to us in quite a few pieces leaping heroically on top of it with his cool dragon skin cape as he hacks it to death with his big honking power axe so uh, our friend here is obviously supposed to be based on the fire dragons and a really nice crisp cast. I, I honestly am never but impressed when I deal with these Artel W figures. They're always really, really sharply cast. Very nice quality. And I do like their little triangle DD bobs for putting parts in. It just, for some reason, seems smoother to me. And I don't know why, because it probably isn't any different than putting it with a triangle. I mean, with a square, because it is a triangle, but yeah, we're rambling at this point. So you can see here, he looks like he's going to be about 32 millimeters. He's a lot closer to modern stuff than traditional. So if you're looking for something a bit on the smaller scale, you're probably going to be disappointed. Not too many parts, and sadly for an RTLW figure, there aren't a whole lot of options. In fact, there are none. You basically have what's included. You have the cape, and you have the lance rifle heat ray, whatever they're called, that you're going to have to glue on his back. And I think, honestly, that's about it. You also have some horns for the demon. I thought there were two. Did I lose one already? My goodness. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, no. It's attached to him. I think. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to start building this, and I will show you what it looks like, because instead of me rambling on talking about how cool it is, let's see it in the flesh. Yeah? After much fussing and fawning, we finally got our Fire Drake Prime here all finished up. And what's kind of cool is you can see he just launches himself right into this demon. Now, I didn't attach him, but it's kind of cool the way it works. So you have one little notch on his back right here. That's going to be for his back foot. And then the other one actually just kind of shoves into his mouth. And then his hand is going to connect to his horn to give him another nice little bit of stability there. So you can see here, he's just ready to hack that sucker to pieces. Really dynamic looking sculpt. I mean, I just, I really like the sense of movement in this model. And with the new Psychic Awakening and all the previews that GW's been showing off for the Eldar, it just kind of got me in the mood. And I was like, oh yeah, I thought I had an Eldar model laying around. So this is just really a nice model. There's a little tiny notch on his cloak, which I'm assuming that's where his back, um, rifle, las gun, whatever melt gun is going to go. And looking at the renders on Artel's website as well, it seems to be the right spot. So, how does he stack up with other models? So here you can see our Fire Drake Prime with some Marines in tow. Because like I said, I don't own any other Eldar models that I can find at the moment. But you do get a good sense of scale here. And like I said earlier, very dynamic, very cool sense of movement. There's just a lot going on here, and if you're interested in their primes like these that go with their fire drakes or their fire dragons or whatever you want to call them, they also have another striking scorpion style one that looks very much like a predator, which is available as well. If you don't happen to get a hold of it, I probably will in the very near future, so you can always come back here and check that out once I've got him through the mail system. So anyway, as I ramble on here, I'm going to let you all go. This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities of Miniatures saying, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. And I'll put a link down to Artel's website if you're curious about picking one of these up yourself. See you all later. Bye-bye.